Hi, my name is Kelly Sparrow. I'm with Nichols Electronics RF Hero. We manufacture and distribute the wireless remote controls that Cool Machine uses in their blow-in installation machines. We have three basic types of controls that are available for our machines. We have the Yellow Jacket system. The system has a range of 300 to 500 feet line of sight. We have the Falcon system. The Falcon system is good for almost a quarter mile. And then we have the variable speed unit. And the variable speed unit will control both the blower motor and the slide gate, all from the application point and not from the machine. A few of the differences between the different remotes that we offer for the Cool Machines blowing insulation machines. The Yellow Jacket system, we recommend for residential purposes. Residential meaning you're parking your truck in the driveway or out on the street. You're going about 75 yards to the house, or 75 feet to the house, and uh, maybe up one story, two tops. You're blowing about 150, maybe 200 feet of hose, no longer than that. While we have 300 to 500 feet line of sight, that's outdoors. That means that this transmitter can see the antenna. When you start going through walls, floors, and ceilings, it starts diminishing range. But generally, this is pretty solid for a residential application. For a commercial application, we highly recommend the Falcon system. The Falcon system, again, is good for a quarter mile line of sight. You'll never be that far from your truck, but when you got to blow the third or fourth floor of an apartment building and you're all the way in the back through over 300 feet of hose and you're going through multiple walls, floors, and ceilings, this is the type of remote that's going to get the signal through and give you positive control over your insulation machine. And then new for 2019 is our variable speed, variable slide gate controller. This is the ultimate in control for the blowing insulation machines that will give you both control over the opening of the slide gate, slide gates ranging from 10 to 18 inches, and also the blower control. So you'll get 15 steps of the blower from about 30% power all the way up to 100. Anything under 30 really doesn't do you any good. All of this is controllable right from the point of application. You don't have to have a second man down at the machine with the radio of making the adjustments for you. These are the three remotes that we offer for the blow-in installation industry. Uh, a couple tips on installation. First, the receiver. The receiver is the part that goes on the machine. I have seen a lot of receivers mounted right to the machine. While it's going to work that way, if you want to get the, the best usage and the longest term out of your receiver, you're going to want to mount it to the wall behind the machine so it's not shaking eight hours a day or vibrating eight hours a day. While it's designed for industrial environments, the better you take care of your equipment, the longer your equipment will last you. Secondly, another point that comes up quite often in my tech calls is placement of the antenna. The antenna is one of the most critical pieces to the wireless remote control system, and it's what gives it its range. Best practice for antenna mounting would be to mount the antenna on the roof of the truck or, or trailer, drill a hole in the roof, drop the cable down and attach it to your receiver at that point. Put a little silicone on the top so your truck doesn't leak. The idea behind that is the higher the antenna is, the longer range you're gonna get. The fact that the antenna is vertical with a horizontal ground plane gives you additional propagation range, which basically means longer range, better communication between the transmitter and the receiver on the machine. A lot of antennas are damaged when they're moved in and out of the truck for a non-permanent installation. Invariably, someone slams the truck door on the antenna cable, and while it might not slice the cable, it can slice the conductor on the inside of the insulation that you don't even know until you test it. All of a sudden, your system has no range. You think it might be the transmitter or the receiver. You send it in, we find no problem with it. A $30 antenna would fix the problem. So those are a couple tips on both installation and operation of the RF Hero wireless mode control systems for the blown insulation machines. This is Barry with insulationmachines.net. Not only do we offer equipment sales, we offer technical support and on-site training. Contact us today if you need our help.